Now, once you understand how to create this layout component, let's take a look at how you can create this beautiful login page. So you have to open the login.js file and here instead of this login, so get rid of this h1 and here I'm going to create a new section and to this section, we specify some classes. So I'm going to specify here Delvin classes. So specify here class name with 3 by 4. So this will specify width, which is going to be 75% to this section. And then I'm going to add here MX auto. The MX auto is going to center all the content. After that, we specify flex and flex column. So this is going to create a column layout inside this login form. And just after that, I'm going to add some gap to the flex items. So we specify here gap 10. Just after that, inside this section, I'm going to add three columns. First, for the title. Second, for the middle section, where we're going to add the form. And third, for the bottom section. So let's first add the title. Inside this title, I'm going to add h1 heading tag. And then I'm going to specify here text explore. Just after that, I'm going to specify some Delvin classes here. So class names is going to be text gray 800. Then I'm going to specify here text for Excel to increase the size of this text. Then I'm going to specify here font bold to add font width. And then I'm going to add padding by 4. So this will add top and bottom padding. Just out of that, just out of this H1 heading tag, I'm going to add a paragraph and add some lorem text here. So I'm going to copy and paste some demo words here. Something like this. Just out of that, to this paragraph, I'm going to specify some classes. So to this paragraph, I'm going to first specify width is going to be 3 by 4. So this will add a 75% width. Then I'm going to add margin X auto. Text is going to be gray 400. So this is going to add a paragraph inside this project. Now what I want, I want to remove this background gray color. So I'm going to back to the layout. And as you know, we have this background gray color to this division tag. So I'm going to remove this class right from here. Save this. So you will have the white background to this section. Just out of that, back to the login.js. Let's create a new form. Just out of this command. Here I'm going to say form. Get rid of this action attribute because we are not using it. And then specify some Delvin classes here. So classes is going to be flex, flex call, and gap is going to be 5. So inside this form, right down here, I'm going to add my different input groups. So let's create a division tag with the class input groups. Or you can say input group. And inside this div, I'm going to add my input tag of the type email. Now this text box is for the email. So we specify here type email. Then I'm going to specify here name, which is going to be email. And then I'm going to specify here placeholder, which is going to be email. Let me save this. You can see I'm going to have this text box here. Now just out of that, I'm going to copy this div and specify that right down here to create another div. So this is going to create another input group with the input type email. But instead of email, right now I'm going to change this to password. Copy this, specify that to this email and to this placeholder. So this is the second text box of this login form. Just out of that, just out of this input text boxes, right down here, I'm going to have my login button. So just out of this div, right down here, I'm going to add a command and say login buttons. So I'm going to add here a division tag with the class input button. And then I'm going to add here a button of the type submit. And to this button, we specify login text. Save this. You can see I'm going to have this button here. We're also going to have two more authentication methods for the Google and GitHub. So let's add both these buttons as well. Copy this right down here. Paste this button and then specify here sign in with google let me copy this button paste it right down here and instead of sign in with google here i'm going to say sign in with github say this and i'm going to have this result here now what i want i want to separate these buttons so let me cut this right down here i'm going to create another div with input button and paste my buttons here copy the last button and place that inside the input button class right here save the changes as you can see, I'm going to have the result what I want. Now, just out of that, just after this form, right down here, I'm going to have a link so the user can easily move to the register page. So right down here, I'm going to add a paragraph and then I'm going to specify here some Delvin classes. So I'm going to add some classes here. Classes is going to be text center, text gray, 400. 
and right inside this paragraph i'm going to say don't have an account yet then click on this link component i'm going to add here a link component make sure you import this link component at the top so at the top right up here you need to say import link from next link and then i'm going to add here inside this link here i'm going to specify href attribute href and then inside this curly braces here i'm going to add forward slash register the route path of the register page and inside this link here i'm going to add my anchor tag and inside this anchor tag here i'm going to say sign up and then to this anchor tag we specify some development classes so i'm going to say here class name text blue 700 when I save the changes, you can see I'm going to have this bottom text. And now, when you click on this sign up, you will now navigate to this register page. 